How you guys doing? Welcome back to Tuna Tech. Today's unboxing is very familiar to those who watch my channel. This is a gaming phone. And it's the next iteration of a popular series that at least I enjoy. Okay guys, well, uh, not too long ago, I was opening a, up a phone from this company. Now they've issued a iterative update called the Red Magic 7S Pro. This phone is a gaming phone by Nubia. They've had many of these. They just released the 7 not too long ago. This has some, I say iterative, iterative updates, but nonetheless, a big one is the processor, and I'll explain that in a second here. But this comes in colors on obsidian supernova and mercury the obsidian which is this one is a 12 gigabyte 256 gigs of ram supernova and mercury come in 18 gigabytes and 512 and that is ddr LD, lp ddr5 and usf 3.1 for those who are into those kind of acronyms it's got a 6.8 inch screen with 120 hertz refresh rate it's uh, got a 960 hertz multi-touch sampling rate. So this thing is pretty accurate when you touch the screen. It's a 1080p plus resolution. So it's not, it's it's HD, but it's a little bit higher. 20 by, nine access, 20 by nine aspect ratio, and it's an analog screen, and it's covered with Gorilla Glass 5. So it's not the thickest, but it's still pretty good. It's got a turbo fan for cooling and two channel intakes and that fan rotates at 20,000 RPM. So if you've had one of these phones before, at least the last few of them had a little LED fan in the back that helps cool the CPU, especially when gaming, which is what it's made for. It's got aircraft grade aluminum alloy. It's got a vapor chamber. chamber. I can't talk today, sorry guys. Um, a high thermal conductivity copper foil thermal gel, cooling graphite thermal pad, aviation grade aluminum heat sink, and graphene composite phase change material. That's a lot of mumbo jumbo. Basically, this thing stays nice and cool when playing according to Nubia and Red Magic. It's got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. So this isn't just a Gen 1, it's the Plus. And that's a really good thing because obviously it's an overclocked version of the Gen 1, but it's much more efficient. And I'll tell you, the phone I have, the, exact, the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, the battery life has been fantastic on this thing. It's got a red core chip. So in addition to the main processor, which is the Snapdragon, they have a red core one chip, which is used to process sound, light, vibration, and touch inputs. So the LED inputs or outputs on the back of the phone, your touch inputs are all controlled by this red core chip. And that is supposed to offload a lot of the processing from the main processor so you can gain better and with less lag. It's got Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.0, GPS, NFC, HDMI, which is interesting. So the USB port can be used as a HDMI out. And a couple videos I've watched, it actually has a console, mo console mode. So when you plug it into a, a adapter, which I bought this one, I'm going to try it out. You stick it in there. It's got some HDMI ports on it. You can actually hook up a mouse and keyboard and play it like a console or with a controller. Uh, it's got three cameras in the back, a 64 megapixel, an eight, me eight megapixel ultra wide, and a two megapixel macro. Um, I don't know if that's something you guys care about, but the cameras on these things have never been fantastic. They're there for, you know, the reasons of to be there. It's a phone. Um, it's got a 16 megapixel front facing camera and it runs Red Magic OS 5.5 based on Android 12. Again, going back to the software, it's not bad. They get better with every iteration. The 7 was much better than previous ones, but you get a couple updates at first and then it kind of falls off. So the guarantee of, of Android 13 or anything if security uh, wise, it's up in the air on these, um, at least in my experience. It's got a 5,000 milliamp hour battery that does 65 watt charging and it's got a 65 watt GAN quick charger in the box. And if you don't know what that means, it's capital G, lowercase a, uppercase N. Look it up, it's a new way of compacting charging and it's pretty efficient. Uh, it's got shoulder buttons with a 520 hertz touch sampling rate. It's got a game space switch so you can go into game space mode which optimizes the phone for gaming. 
And then in the phone, you get the 7S Pro, a clear phone case, a power adapter, a Type-C data cable, SIM tray ejection tool, and some, hopefully some stickers. Now, I've already opened this for a little bit, so I didn't get through the whole thing, but I just, when I get these phones, you guys, I just can't wait sometimes. But this is the, let's see what it says on the box here. Um, this is the 12 gig, 256 gigabyte Obsidian color. This is the global version. So we got the box here. And as you can see, I haven't opened this, so I'm hoping this is, there's your SIM direction tray, our tool. Hoping the case is in here. You got your warranty card and you got a basic case. And this is, as you can see in the last iteration, it's pretty similar. It's got this cutout right here so you can see the cameras and the LED lights. Um, and you got holes for the trigger buttons up top and so on and so forth. So I'll put that back over here. Put the phone off to the side here. Inside here we've got the red gaming, I guess you call it gaming, uh, cable. And that's a USB-C to C. And here's the 65 watt charger, so it's got a C. So I really prefer the A to C, but you know, it is what it is. The fact that they include one in the box and the pricing is relatively competitive. Um, I believe this one starts, I don't quote me on this, I want to say it's $799. It puts to $899 for the 18 gigs of RAM. Uh, the reason I want 12 gig is because that's the one I could get. And um, technically 18 gigs of RAM is kind of overkill for an Android phone or for any phone for that matter. So I'm going to try to... Here is the phone. So right off the bat, you see the screen up front and there's a camera up here. It's got a screen protector pre-installed. There's your gaming switch. On the bottom is a down firing speaker, your USB-C and SIM ejection tray. Or your SIM tray, I should say. Here's your touch sensitive uh, triggers and then power and volume. And this right here is a vent for the fan. And the fan on this one, obviously, um, you can't see, but here's a vent, and then here's a vent right here for the fan. I'm gonna try to power it on, see if there's any juice. I don't know where the fan is on this, because um, the ones in the past have been kind of translucent, but I'm gonna assume it, it lies somewhere here or over here, and you're supposed to be able to see it when it lights up. But turning it on here. On the top, you got the top firing speaker, and then you've got a, interestingly enough, a headphone jack. So for all you gamers out here who swear by you know, uh, having that headphone jack just does have it. I'm not gonna be able to get to the fan, but let me get through some of the setup here and then I will show you guys where the fan is. So give me one sec. All right guys, so um, I got this phone set up a little bit and as you can see, there's a button here, it's a fan and you can probably hear it. I'll probably put it up to the microphone here. So there is, on this version, there is no LED light that you can see from the fan, but you have air coming out here. It sucks in air from the back and it comes out to the side. Um, unfortunately, so that's one downside to the 12 gig version. You don't get an LED or translucent back. But besides that, everything else is identical. It's just got a little bit less RAM and a little less storage. But it's the full version of Google Play. Um, like I said, 120 hertz. You know, we got everything you need. Obviously, you got your Google stuff to the right and you can scroll through things. But this is the Red Magic 7S Pro. If you have questions, what I'm going to try to do is stick a SIM card in here for about a week, play with it, and give you a one-week update at how well the phone is. So, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Do me a favor, help me out, and I'll catch you next time.